non resident individuals or companies get taxed in india if they have an economic nexus or an economic presence in india non residents are also taxed on the income that is received in india or if it accrues arises or is deemed to arise or accrue in india foreign companies having their place of effective management in india are taxed on their global income irrespective of the source of their income withholding tax levied on foreign entities on foreign remittances which is interest royalty fee for technical services capital gains business income and salary dividend income received by foreign entities is exempt in india from any form of taxes advance ruling processes are available for determining taxability of a particular transaction elaborating more on the concept of a permanent establishment or a pe its creation is dependent upon number of factors such as existence of place of management such as branch project office factory workshop a dependent agent exclusive or most exclusive who has the authority to conclude the contracts and the presence of employees or other personnel rendering services to related or non related entities p exposure for foreign entities in india on creation of taxable presence a foreign company is liable to pay tax at a 40% rate plus surcharge and education cess on the attributed income A foreign entity having a permanent establishment in India shall also be subjected to the provisions of minimum alternate tax otherwise known as MAT. On the creation of a permanent establishment the foreign entity shall be liable to undertake compliances in India such as obtaining a PAN and TAN and undertaking monthly, quarterly and annual tax compliances and similarly undertaking annual audit and filing of tax returns in India. to provide relief from the problem of double taxation which arises due to different tax rules across various countries the income of a non resident in india gets taxed on the provisions of the income tax act or the dtwa whichever being more beneficial for availing the treaty benefits obtaining a tax residency certificate or a trc is a must keeping in mind that india is aligning its tax system with global tax practices The Indian government has introduced provisions of GAAR, the General Anti-Avoidance Rules. GAAR empowers the tax department to declare an arrangement entered by an assessee to be an impermissible avoidance agreement, shortened to IAA. Once GAAR gets invoked, even the tax treaty benefits can be denied. An equalization levy of 6% has been levied in line with BEPS Action Plan 1 and is applicable on online advertisement. It is payable by the Indian resident or non-resident having a PE in India on payment exceeding rupees 1 lakh. For more information on these topics, download our exclusive PDF file from the link in the description.